Good afternoon and welcome to Boston Asian Radio and TV English Daily News Today. I am your host, Lei. Here's a look at the top stories making headlines today. Henry Kissinger, dominant U.S. diplomat of Cold War era, dies aged 100. With winter around the corner, Wu says it doesn't stand a chance in Boston. Phoned in Pret prompts lockdown at all Lawrence Public Schools, police say. Mass gets ready for Army-Navy game at Gillette Stadium. Man wanted in connection with fatal New Hampshire shooting arrested in Malden. Henry Kissinger, dominant U.S. diplomat of Cold War era, dies aged 100. Henry Kissinger, the renowned American diplomat and Nobel Peace Prize laureate, passed away at the age of 100. Kissinger, a key figure in U.S. foreign policy, played a significant role in shaping international relations during the latter half of the 20th century. Kissinger, a German-born Jewish refugee whose career took him from academia to diplomacy and who remained an active voice in foreign policy into his later years, died at his home in Connecticut on Wednesday. He remained active late in life, attending meetings in the White House, publishing a book on leadership, and testifying before a Senate committee about North Korea's nuclear threat. In July 2023, he made a surprise visit to Beijing to meet Chinese President Aksai Jinping. Kissinger would be interred at a private family service to be followed at a later date by a public memorial service in New York City. With winter around the corner, Wu says it doesn't stand a chance in Boston. Winter is around the corner and Mayor Michelle Wu said on Wednesday the city of Boston is prepared for anything it brings. While at the Boston Public Works Yard, Wu said the city wants to be prepared for anything this winter season. She said there are about 44,000 tons of salt across the city, 175 pieces of snow-clearing equipment that are ready to go, with 800 more to be deployed in extreme weather. Winter doesn't stand a chance in Boston because we are ready, said Wu. She said that preparing for winter isn't just about streets and sidewalks, but also about keeping the people of Boston warm and safe. This is the time when the cost of utility goes up and can put a strain on families and small businesses, said Wu. We want to encourage all of our Boston families to look into Boston Community Choice Electric, which provides three options for electricity prices. Wu said the city-run program's standard rates are inexpensive when compared to Eversource. Foamed in threat prompts lockdown at all Lawrence Public Schools, police say. All public school in Lawrence, Massachusetts, were locked down on Wednesday over a gun violence threat, according to police. A person called Lawrence police about 10.30 a.m. making a threat, involving the possibility of gun violence and suicide at the high school, police said. Law enforcement responded swiftly, implementing lockdown procedures to ensure the safety of students and staff. The threat, although not specified in the summary, was evidently taken seriously leading to a coordinated effort between school officials and the police. The investigation continued into the afternoon. It wasn't immediately clear if there was ever a credible threat or if anyone was hurt. Mass gets ready for Army-Navy game at Gillette Stadium. The Crafts have been trying to bring America's game to Gillette Stadium for years, and this matchup, the 124th between the two service academies, will be the first at the stadium. The response has been overwhelming, officials said at kickoff event Wednesday. Tickets sold out quickly, including over 50,000 that were snapped by spectators from out of state. The ticket for this game is greater than any AFC championship game that we've hosted here, greater than Taylor Swift, greater than anything, said Jonathan Kraft, the Patriots president. Gov Mora Healy presented the team captains with replicas of bowls crafted by Paul Revere. Man wanted in connection with fatal New Hampshire shooting arrested in Malden. A man wanted in connection with a fatal shooting last week in New Hampshire was arrested Tuesday in Malden by state police and members of the U.S. Marshals Fugitive Task Force. State police said investigators determined that 31-year-old Jovan Morris, whose last known address was in New Hampshire, was staying at an apartment at 244 Kennedy Drive in Malden. Morris was wanted as a fugitive out of New Hampshire on a charge of being a felon in possession of a dangerous weapon, a charge that police said stems from the fatal shooting of 42-year-old Carlos Rodriguez of Manchester on November 18 near the Red Arrow Diner. Stay tuned for more updates on Boston News as it develops.